Alright, but how's it going? Welcome to the video, welcome to the channel! This is Watch Dogs Legion, the game where you build a terrorist cell and attempt to overthrow the government. But, we're friends, because this is the multiplayer mode. So I can now take down an evil dictatorship, and no, I don't mean Boris Johnson. I can take down this evil government with my friends, provided I had any. Jesus Christ, I've had a few videos recently which have sort of hinted towards terrorist activity. If MI6 are watching, please don't stick me on a list. And if I don't upload next week, I'm probably in Guantanamo. So my recording session starts in typical Ubisoft fashion, by which I mean staring at a loading screen until I start to question my life decisions. Well, this is a good start. Then BAM! Yep, record. Fucking great. I restart my console after only 4 minutes of loading screens, I'm in. I don't usually check out the code of conduct before playing multiplayer games because let's face it, they're basically the wild west, but with a lot less sex. Do educate yourself and respect local laws, report any illegal activity you see. What? Like in the game? The game where a lot of my team have grenade launchers? What's all that about then? And since when have we been encouraging snitching? 6 9 really has had a negative effect on the youth of today. So I start off by jailbreaking my optic, which is basically my government mandated security check. But at least now I get Spotify premium for free, so winning. Jesus Christ, that's another Charlie Sheen reference. Three videos in a row now, fuck's sake. We don't need to worry about any of this cutscene, so let's skip to the open world. Operative activated. Oh, I'm a woman. My haircut says I'll speak to the manager. Let's see if I can find one. For my first mission, I have to radicalise an unsuspecting member of the British public. This is done a bit differently to the story mode. I have to trade in a currency called influence to instantly recruit someone to my team. I'm basically walking up to Londoners and showing them how many Instagram followers I got and asking, do you want to join my gang? But don't worry, we're the good guys. I want someone with a gun, ideally. Have you got a gun? Apparently, I'm very picky when it comes to, you know, creating... Ooh, stun gun. That's a unique weapon, is it? I haven't got enough influence. Been there before. <clears throat> oh, she's got a grenade launcher. Why can't I take her? Right, I'm going to save her to recruit. Looks like I'm going to have to settle for one of those shitty fucking people. Ugh. I'll be honest with you, I haven't played this game since I completed it two weeks after it first came out. So I'm a little rusty on the buttons. Ooh, I've got a gun. And judging by that face, I thirst of human blood. We are trailing the target. What do you mean, trailing? Ooh, how do I run again? Ah, it's right trigger. Right. Put the gun away. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. What do you mean? Fucking hit him. Hit him. Why are you not hitting him? All right, well, when I say rusty, what I actually mean is completely newbie to the point that is actually hard to watch. Let's skip forward to when I lose the feds. Well, things seem to have escalated already. Ah! All I had to do was recruit someone. Why was I so bloody picky? Oh, I can afford him. He's got a wrench and a motorcycle. He will do. Then, as some kind of hazing ritual, I'm sent to hack some personal data of some overly armoured guard. Why we can't just spam our emails with phishing links, I don't know. I guess they want me to risk potential bullet wounds to prove I'm hard enough for dead sec. Hack the target at New Scotland Yard. I can do that. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on, bang her. Oh yes, I think we should travel in style, to be honest with you. Ah, uh, now I feel upper class. I think I shall go shoot a fox. Or a peasant. I start by hacking this barrier thing to give me some cover, but that doesn't really work out because I'm spotted like instantly. Somehow, I don't realise that is the person whose browser data I'm after. Wait, is that someone that gotta... But start the hack eventually. Oh, I gotta just hack him. Oh yeah, I just gotta download shit. I then attempt some sick as fuck parkour manoeuvre to try and take out the guard. But like I said, I still haven't fully remembered all the buttons and just awkwardly slide on past her. Oh, you dickhead. Oh my god. I pulled a taser, there's no need for automatic weapons! Apparently, point-blank automatic bullet discharge to the abdomen is not a great way to remain alive. Obviously, this Albion bitch isn't taking any chances and fires a burst round straight into my head. With that kind of excessive force, shouldn't I be adding her to my recruitment list? Should have stuck with the Karen lady, you know what I mean? She'd have been cracking eh? Walk straight in, I'm speaking to your fucking manager, pal. Get out my way. Because Roscoe isn't bulletproof, I'm then forced to pick another teammate to tag in. Ooh! See, now this is what I'm talking about. Who said pay to win was such a bad idea? I choose Aiden Pierce, the protagonist from the first Watch Dogs game. Anyone who's played that game knows Aiden is big on revenge, and the first thing he does is avenge his fallen comrade. That's for the Roscoe. I'm sure it's Roscoe. I forget his name, to be honest with you. I'm then summoned to the clubhouse, because apparently murder isn't what dead sex all about. I guess I read the wrong brochure, because I was promised blood. I will be sure to leave, uh, just a note, I'm sure it'll be fine. I head inside the pub, by the way, what a sick place to stick a base, fucking love it. 
All right, but can I have a beer? Do you mean you don't serve beer? Just because it's 10 o'clock in the morning, give me a fucking beer, you twat! Oh, um, I swear I thought I had a taser equipped. I know you won't believe me, but that's the story I'm sticking with, and that's the end of it. With the police on the way, I head into our hideout, because I'm sure the police won't think to check the basement for the gunman. All right, Connie, lass, how's it going, lad? All right. I go speak to Connie, who reprimands me for having such an itchy trigger finger. Not happy, I storm out the pub and proceed to get violently drunk. Never work yourself to death, boys, because I tell you what, the boss will have you replaced in next to no time. Look, I only shot the last guy 30 seconds ago, but at least this one will serve me, so. Apparently Aiden isn't great when it comes to handling his alcohol. It's probably because he's American. Speaking of being American, he then does what I imagine is a national sport over there. I don't want to give any advice to any potential extremist out there, but shooting up the front of your base of operations isn't exactly a 100 IQ move. Luckily, Aiden doesn't last particularly long. Alcohol abuse doesn't exactly lead to proficiency with a handgun. Next up is Wrench's turn, and it's probably time I did some actual activities in this game. So I head over to this Amazon parcel, but it's guarded by a bunch of gang members. Better have something good inside, because I swear to God, if I risk life and limb over a fucking kettle, I'm going to go ballistic. Right, I don't think anyone's going to notice anything, right, if I just... Oh, no, apparently people are going to notice. They're definitely going to notice. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, Wrench has a freaking cargo drone that can fire electronic grenades. This game is definitely pay to win. And I've paid in the form of the Ultimate Edition. Sadly, it doesn't fit on my head, which, I'll be honest with you, I was a little bit disappointed when, when it turned up, but it is what it is. How about a real challenge next time? Shut up, drone. I'm trying to be stealthy. Target spotted. Oh! For those of you who are new to this channel, or my content in general, smashing the ribcage of a screaming guard with a sledgehammer is about as stealthy as I get. That is what I'm talking about. Well, I think everyone else is dead. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button. But hey, that kind of worked out. I landed exactly where I needed to be. I got five influence. I don't know what that's equivalent to in TikTok followers. You know, I'm trying to relate to the kids. Oh, shit. On my way out, I get spotted by this guard, and my god, she can take hits like a champ. She would make a fantastic recruit. Nah, just kidding. I hack her optics, stun in her nervous system, and take the opportunity to get a cheap knockout. Take my club straight to your face. It's what winners do. So far, this video has been full of not a lot more than violence and domestic terrorism. Again, please don't stick me on the list. So I decide it's time for some wholesome fun, and decide to go make some friends. Although, admittedly, I do take out this Uber driver for no other reason than it had been longer than five minutes without me seeking an explosion. There we go. Finally. I probably got ADHD or something. I find a player called Blessed Zay and decide to say hello. Why, hello, good sir. How are you? Do, would you require any assistance? There you go. Ah! What the fuck? Get on. Get on. I'm here to help you. Yes. How you doing, blessed J J Zay? Zay, is that how you say it? I got no problem with helping out the criminal underworld. We take a really romantic flight over the Thames. Where would you like to go, my friend? And I'm not saying sparks were flying, because that was probably my electric grenade launcher. Then, like everyone I let close to my heart, he leaves me when a better opportunity comes along. I take it as well as can be expected. I'm sorry about this. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. Wrench decides to take his frustrations out on some local Albion guards. Ah, electric machine guns. We really are living in the future. I've no idea what I'm doing in here, by the way. I'm literally just wandering in because why not? You're dead, motherfuckers. Then this Terminator motherfucker with a literal invisibility cloak appears out of nowhere and obliterates me with a shotgun. No, Wrench! No! Waiting to be revived by a teammate. I don't think my teammates come in, I'll be honest with you. I love the way that they're all just sat there waiting, right? What do we do then, boys? He's pretty sure he's dying. Oh, right, someone's here to shoot me. I'm pretty sure it's against the Geneva Convention to shoot a man who's bleeding out. Bastards. I choose my next operative because he has a silent machine gun and sneaky feet. If I'm being honest with you, I'm not feeling this outfit. So I head over to do a spot of retail therapy and dress in something a little more appropriate. Fan bloody tastic. Now I really am gonna end up on a list, but at least it's not for domestic terrorism. Now seeing as this is a co-op game, it would be rude not to try out at least one of the co-op modes. So I start matchmaking, which doesn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would, considering it's a Ubisoft server. And I'm launched into this game where I gotta touch up some dead bodies or something. I don't know, I didn't listen to the mission brief. Right then, heart XOXOXP. Let's do some shit. There's a hidden body here. I will analyze this body. Isotopic signature. I'm pretty sure they just put words in to make us feel stupid, you know what I mean? It's pissing down, which is typical British weather, and adds a cool, moody ambiance, but probably doesn't translate to YouTube, because if it's not bright and bouncy, you can't catch the attention spans of the youth for today. This is probably the oldest I've ever felt. Great. And then faced with a moral dilemma. 
Do I go quiet and boring and risk the retention rate of this video dropping off quicker than my standards at 2pm? Or do I go in loud and dumb and risk pissing off my new BFF? Of course, the decision is made for me because I'm an actual idiot. Bam. Somehow no one spotted or heard me beating the shit out of that guard. But don't worry, they were all alerted thanks to my world class aim. They've noticed you. Security's on their way. That was my bad, dude. That was so my bad. Yeah, thank you for that, mate. You really are carrying the team right now. I then gotta feel up another dead body. Don't know why dead sex is into necrophilia all of a sudden. I've got to analyze this isotopic signature. But I'm just rolling with it due to peer pressure. And you should always give in to peer pressure. Like when I tell you to like this video and subscribe, you'll do so. Because so many people have already done so. My heart is then almost ripped out of my chest. No! My homie! Stop trying to shoot him! Pal, I will get you! I will I will save you. How do I revive you? Press and hold Y. I can do that. Can't do much else, but I can press and hold a button. Oh, execution style, that was brutal. I find yet another corpse. What kind of incompetent baddies just leave the bodies of the victims lying around? They really need to invest in some sulfuric acid. Analyze another dead corpse, please. It's weird that they just leave these things hanging around, you know what I mean? I can't believe I didn't realize this mission was timed, so we fail. What? How do we fuck that up, then, boys? Come on, own up. Whose fault was that? I'm not a very cooperative teammate. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a like. If this video gets six likes, I will move to London and attempt to overthrow the government. That is a joke. I really need to stress, that is a joke. Please, for the love of God, don't add me to a list. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.